Right, welcome back to the channel guys. Now, I do apologise, I've been a bit slack with the old video posting. Now, back on it now, we're going to get some content out weekly for you guys. Now, the first one, I've been doing a lot of pellet fishing recently. Hard pellets, shallow, bomb and waggler, short pole, even throwing them down the edge. Now, one little product which I feel gives me an edge with this sort of fishing is actually this bad boy. Absolute fish oil. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is show you how I've been using it to my advantage there's been two ways i've been using it and how what i'm trying to do with the two ways how i'm trying to manipulate my pellets to help me help to catch more fish reduce foul lookers and just keep on catching and filling that so let's spin it round now and i'll show you what i've been right so essentially the fish oil what this does it just coats your pellets now there's two ways about this basically with fishery feed pellets sometimes i've just got a bag of lindo pellets here sometimes the odd one might float odd, odd one might float might cause cause not not float for ages but just like in the surface film for a little bit longer now adding this one this is the first t type of little tip i've started doing i've been doing it for years i learned off jamie hughes years ago but if i just drizzle a little bit of oil on them it just goes through that surface film straight away so it just allows me to have my pellets all in that one hit going down to the bottom instead of like a flutter of them going down all the time like this just one hit straight to the bottom where i need them to be fishing so that helps me with that now all i do simply say that was me pellets for today i just don't want to do too much so that was what i wanted to use for my session all i do tiny bit next to nothing you see on there give it a spin around see there now it's got like a nice slick all over it and what this enables is when I chuck them in now see the slick on there they obviously dry a little bit when I chuck them in they'll just go down in one hit now the other way I've been doing it is these are just thin perfect four mils is because we've had a lot of shallow fishing recently it's just these have been going for a couple of weeks now and all I've been doing is just going out every couple of days just drizzling a bit of oil on there spinning around leave them in a the little lock up and they've took on the oil now this is the second little tip now these pellets have soaked up the, the oil which means it's going to have a slower breakdown rate so incorporating this with a nice fine mesh little banded pellet your pellet is going to stay intact it's not going to go all that furry and take on the water like it does and then you have to change your pellet all the time and when you're fishing venues such as I've been at like Lindome on a festival, even like here at Western, where I am now, having a four mil which stays intact just by having these pellets for longer just enables you to be a bit quicker with shallow fishing. You can either use it in a lasso or band, it just it makes it nice and uniform and it just slows that breakdown. Now, one little tip as well if, if your fishery allows, Say I wanted to slow the breakdown of these, say some fishery pellets, I can do the same with that. So if I go to a venue where I can use my own pellets and I want to keep these pellets on the bottom without them breaking up, which skimmers might be an issue at some places, which they can be, if I just want them to stay intact as long as I can, then I can feed these and you know, have a slower breakdown. So I'll just spin it back round and we'll talk about the two little tips and then we'll be done then. So basically I'm just there's two types of ways I've been using this. First of all, just to get them pellets just to go that through that first surface film and then second of all keeping them pellets intact and in shape nice and solid compact for longer so literally you don't need a lot of this i've just been using this this is done to be fair this is just done them pellets there and it's done about five or six coats of them you don't need a lot of it just make sure it's well mixed through either get your hands stuck in there or just give it a spin round with that so get on that Make sure your pellets are in top condition. The fish love eating this time of year. I had loads of fish, probably thousands of pounds caught in the past few weeks on them. So get, in, get them sorted. Make sure your pellets are all in the right condition. Your bait's top notch and you'll catch loads more fish. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what you see, don't forget to give the video a like and a comment below. 
but if you're looking to something to improve your fishing a little bit more or in, really enjoy watching live matches or learning about new methods or just general real in-depth match reports don't forget to check out my members channel in the description below